Hello guys and welcome to my mounting basket. I don't know what this even is on the table. Probably wax. Anywho, I'm just gonna jump on in with my empties. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm freaking tired. I haven't been sleeping well. I think it's because of anxiety. <sighs> but oh my god, I was gonna wake up at like eight o'clock this morning to work out. And then I got woke up at like 7.50 because I had to pee and I literally felt like so tired. I felt sick. So I was just like, hm, no, that ain't happening. Not today. So we're just going to get into the empties. I finally finished this Damn It Janet from Broadway. I only gave it a 2 out of 5 stars for an overall rating and then a 2 out of 10 for throw. It was just so light. So, so light. Like I could smell it for maybe like an hour and then it was gone for the whole day in the bathroom. Then I had Elephant Ear here from Ava's Country Cupboard. This one I gave a 5 out of 5 star rating. It was like an 8 out of 10 throw. It was just like the most delectable, delicious elephant ear scent like possible. It was just, it was just so good. It was like a cinnamon sugar mm, yumminess. I definitely want more of that. This was a custom I did with Sassy Wax Melts. It was in Buttercream Crunch. Buttercream Crunch Cake Gourmet Sugar Cookie and Caramel Cookies. This one I gave a 3 out of 5 overall rating. It was like a 6 out of 10 throw. I just wish it was a bit stronger and a bit more exciting. Again, it was like a me blend. It's one of my first custom orders like ever and I just didn't really know what I was doing. This, however, this was a me blend. I did this myself and here it is go copy it it's phenomenal um it is blue ribbon cookies blue ribbon waffles and buttermilk pancakes from that small good shop i gave it a five out of five stars it was like a nine or ten out of ten throw so good it was like a yummy delicious breakfast pancakey type scent it smelled like pancakes and waffles hot off the griddle with like no syrup on them it was so good This is something else that I created, and it is Gadzooks, which is one of their house blends, which is like a cherry almond scent mixed with just extra almond. I also gave this one a 5 out of 5. Um, it was like a 9 to 10 out of 10. Like, I have it, I put it in maybe like 15 minutes ago, and it's already like my whole house smells like this. It is so good, so yummy. Highly recommend. Next, I had the sample of Sugar Cookie from Black Magic. Also gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars, 8 out of 10. I don't care if it's called Sugar Cookie. It smells just like Frosted Flakes. I even asked Chris. He agreed. It was just one square, filled up my entire bedroom. So good. I have more of this. If they restock it, I will buy more of it. Delicious. This was also one of my blends from that Smell Good Shop. Um, I think that this was... Yeah, I did not um, transfer it onto my new sheet, but I finished this. I think I went over it last week. It was just like a really good like bakery scent. I do recommend. This was Fresh Picked Strawberries, Cotton Candy, and White Elephant Exchange from L3. This I gave a three out of five, but it was pretty strong. It was like a seven out of 10, but it was like very cotton candy. And I don't really love a cotton candy scent. So if you love cotton candy, then I suggest all three. It's very strong, but it's not something I would go out of my way for. We have Irresist Iridescent from Walmart from Sensationals. This I only gave a two out of five for like how I felt about it. Chris really liked it. I melted it on his birthday. It was like an eight out of ten. It was very, very strong, but... When I first got it, it was really strong on the spearmint. Now it's very strong on the vanilla woods, which just isn't my favorite. We had Wendy Darling from Fantasy. This one, I only gave a 2 out of 5 stars. It was very strong, though. It was like a 7 out of 10. It's strawberry pound cake, but it smells more like a like um body care strawberry pound cake rather than like a yummy strawberry pound cake. And that's just not my thing, but it was very strong. It performed well, just not my favorite. We have Flying Car, which is Crunchberry Crisp from Fantasy. I gave this a 4 out of 5. Again, it was really strong, like a 7 out of 8. I just am not obsessed with cereal scents. Like, I bought one of these because, like, I like them here and there. They're just not my favorite. 
We had Piglet, which I gave a like two and a half out of five stars. This is pistachio, amaretto cream, and vanilla ganache. It was like a very nice scent, but it was very light. I didn't smell, it was like maybe a four out of 10. Not my favorite, but super good. This, however, oh my God. This one's called Blue. In their shop, it's in their shop is like a core set now, and it is zucchini bread and sugar cookie royale. Five out of five, literally a 10 out of 10. So strong, so good. I have, I think, a couple more of these from them, and they just did like a zucchini bread pretzel, um, zucchini bread and pretzel blends pre-order. And I ordered so many of them, and this is so good. I just, oh my god, I can't wait. For all their zucchini, they're so good at it. And that is all of my empties. Okay, we'll get into the new fun basket. We do have some things we're carrying over, including Pure Seduction from that Smell Go Chopper that's melting us in the bathroom. It's been going pretty good. I have hopes of finishing this loaf and strawberry fresh baked bread and pretzel from L3. And I'm definitely gonna finish this loaf probably tomorrow, actually. I'm probably gonna melt the strawberry one in the morning because one of my best friends is coming over and it's his birthday today and I just like to like come on sense that I think the people who are like visiting will like. But I will definitely finish that today. It's only about one more melt left. Into the new things. We have got a cup from Fantasy Wax and Reagan's Favorite, which is lemon pound cake. This is now a core scent in their shop as lemon pound cake. I do need to cut this in half though, but it's to die for. They had gifted me a loaf of this scent. I melted it a while back and I've been craving it ever since. It's just like out of this world. And the cookie therapy sampler from L3. This is bad berry cup cookie therapy. Who needs them anyway? Cookie therapy, Danish butter cookies, and a lemon cream. I'm really getting the cookie therapy like that pretzely note, but then you do get that lemon cream. This is really good. I'm very much so looking forward to that. Another cup from Fantasy in the Burrow, which is strawberry bread. I bought like 5,000 of these because, oh my God. It's just like, it. this is mouthwatering, so I'm really, really excited for her. And then another one from Fantasy, we've got just blueberry cheesecake from the Chamber of Secrets collection. It's so pretty. This is a del delicious blueberry cheesecake, holy macaroni. I'm excited for her. We have a Rose Girls in here, Salted Caramel Latte Cookie Land. This is out of this world amazing. Mm. Like that makes me hungry. It just, oh, it smells, it smells like walking into a coffee shop. From Teddy B's, we have blueberry cheesecake waffles. We have blueberries, creamy cheesecake, butter pecan waffles, and um, maple syrup. This definitely smells different than the other um, then the Chamber of Secrets one. This one, you really, I get the butter pecan waffles first and foremost. Mm. That smells delish. This basket's kind of small because we got a lot of big things in here. We have got kitchen sink bars from That Smell Good Shop, which is caramel, cinnamon sugar, bananas, and cookie dough. It's kind of runty right now. But I'll, I think it, like, I do smell, like, the cinnamon and, the, like, the caramel and stuff. So, I'm hoping that this transforms a bit on warm. Because I'm not obsessed with it at the moment. But we will see. I did gift some of this to, I think, Angelia. I have not melted it. I had this, which is Mystery Scent. Could be bakery fresh for your coffee from Birdies. It's definitely bakery. Me and Chris both came to that conclusion. We both think it smells like some sort of bread. Like a fresh baked bread. So I'm excited to mount her. Got a big old peppermint this week. This is from that Smoga Chop. This pink is so pretty, it was gonna stain so bad. And this is peppermint vanilla twist. And yeah, it's like a beautiful you really smell both the peppermint and the vanilla. It smells very, very like creamy and delicious. And then the last thing I have is Hufflepuff from L3. Everybody knows Hufflepuff. This is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon, sugar, and pumpkin pasties. And yeah, I have so far, like, I've not melted Hufflepuff by itself. And on cold, I don't get the hype. But I felt the same way about White Elephant Exchange, and then I melted it, and I was like, ah, I get the hype. So I'm hoping, praying, thinking, and 
probably be the same with Hufflepuff. I'm gonna pop most of these things back in here besides these two cups that I do need to cut in half because scent jack cups from Fantasy Wax, I always cut in half and get two melts out of them. I literally just brought a paper towel because I only have two things to cut. I didn't want to like dirty an entire dish for it. They did change their wax so it's a lot less crumbly now. This is a bit old. Like they just changed it with their most recent collection, which is actually also Harry Potter. It was their Prisoner of Azkaban collection. And so their wax is going to be, is going to cut nicer now and not do that. Not that it really matters to me because their wax, at least in my house, performs like amazing. So I don't really give a shit how it cuts. Also, Reagan's new birthday set is coming out soon and she did fabulous her first year. So here's the whole thing. She does just as good this year. But that is it, guys. I hope you did like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then I guess give it a thumbs down. Because either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. I'm really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So please do it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.